Welcome back. This is Devin Lockett at the Biomed RX Health Center once again. And uh, this is our second video in our series about biomagnetic paratherapy. The last time we were here, I discussed the magnets that we use and the principles behind biomagnetic paratherapy. I introduced you to the creator, uh, Dr. Isaac Goyes Duran of Mexico, a Mexican uh, physician and scientist. And today, we're going to start going over how the magnets are applied and the diagnostic procedure that we use and the uh, different conditions that can be treated with biomagnetic paratherapy. And I'm going to show you actually how we apply the magnets using uh, my son as a model. Let's go. Okay, here we are in the biomagnetic paratherapy room of the Biomed RX Health Center. And I have my uh, patient here lying on the table. When you are doing biomagnetic paratherapy, the first thing you want to do is have your patient lie down on your treatment table with their ankles and feet hanging off the edge of the bed. And there's a reason for that. I'm going to explain in a minute. Okay. During our diagnostic procedure, we, we do what is called a scan. So that means we take the negative pole of a magnet and we place it in different parts of the body to find out if the body is going to respond. If the body responds, we're going to be able to tell by looking at the bottom of the feet. Okay, that's called muscle testing. So basically, we will take a magnet, okay? The procedure calls for the negative pole of a magnet. Remember, the negative pole of the magnet increases circulation and also uh, raises the pH. But what we're talking about right now is finding out if there are any reservoirs where there are pathogens in the body. A pathogen is a virus, fungus, bacteria, parasite, or a heavy metal toxin burden and we start off we have a we have a process a scanning process where you start off on the head and the face and you go through all of the different um, areas of the body different organs and different reservoirs that may contain a virus or a bacteria or a fungus or a parasite these are called uh, reservoirs now the way this works is pretty simple. The heart, your heart is on the left side of your body. So the left side of the brain or the left hemisphere of the brain is going to receive more blood and thus be a little bit larger than the right hemisphere of your brain. Okay. And the left hemisphere of the brain controls the right side of the body. The right hemisphere of your brain controls the left side of your body. So. If I were to find, for example, uh, E. coli bacteria here in the thymus gland, right, then the body would respond with tension. All muscles can do is contract and relax, okay? The femur here on the thigh is the largest bone in the body. So the muscles that support the femur, your quadriceps, your hamstring, well, the hamstring is, is uh, on more than just the femur your leg biceps, these are the longest muscle bellies in the body. So, if the body responds with tension at the point where I find a pathogen, the right leg is going to tense up more than the left leg and the right foot is going to appear to shorten compared to the left. This is our muscle testing procedure. So, You have to relax. We tell the patient to relax. And we check the bottom of the feet. We continue doing that, moving the magnet from one area to another until we actually find the pathogen. Now, very ex uh, experienced, right? Biomagnetic pair therapists such as Dr. Goyes and his sons and quite a few others can actually forego the magnet scanning and speak to your body, right? That's called the uh, theory of the intelligent body, okay? They can actually speak to your body, concentrate, and the body will respond 
without them having to move the magnet from the magnet from one part of the body to another. Okay. Nevertheless, the muscle testing procedure is very effective. It's also effective in the emotion code and a lot of other things. But we're just talking about biomagnetic paratherapy. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find out where the patient has a problem. Once we find a problem area, we're going to find out whether that area needs uh, the positive pole of the magnet or the negative pole of the magnet. And then we're going to put the corresponding magnet. If it's negative here, it's going to be positive somewhere else. We're going to find the pair that the person is actually, uh, the biomagnetic pair, the pair of pathogens that the person is infected with. We're going to help the body release both of them together. Okay, so in this particular case, we don't have to do the scan because I know exactly what it is that we're going to do. Okay, so since we are not working on a specific disease or illness or pathogen, um, what we're going to do right now is called your uh, top 10 detox. We're going to uh, boost the function of the detoxification organs. We're going to boost the function of the liver, of the pancreas, of the kidneys, the lungs, the bladder, and the large intestine, meaning the ascending colon, the traverse colon, the descending colon, and the sigmoid colon, which is very important because the sigmoid, sigmoid colon is a place that uh, tends to get clogged up with mucus and uh, all kind of bad things. Okay, so first, where's your navel? Your, where is your navel? Right here, right? Okay. So, we're going to place a large negative magnet on the navel, right? And the navel is your end of the umbilical cord. So, your navel is where all your stem cells are. And stem cells, or what they call in Spanish, cellulas madres, mother cells, these are the cells that produce other cells, okay? So, we're going to start with that in the very beginning. That gives us a good reference point to find the pancreas. So we're gonna put a negative here. Now I keep, I say, I'm saying negative and you're seeing red because the part that's touching your body is the black side of the magnet, the negative side. Okay. And then we put the positive here at the tail, at the, what they call the tail of the pancreas. Okay. Now we're going to put magnets on the liver. The liver is primarily on the right side of the body. Well, it goes across your, it's your largest internal organ, and it goes all the way across, but the big heavy area of the liver is right here beneath the rib cage on the right side of the body. And we're gonna go positive and negative on the liver. And of course, the liver is one of the most important uh, detoxification organs okay we're going to do the kidneys now with the kidneys we want to put the uh, superior magnet the superior position meaning uh, closer to the head, inferior, closer to the feet, uh, with the positive pole of the magnet and the negative directly onto the kidney. This is because on the top of your kidneys are your adrenal glands, which contain adrenaline. And you want to ex excite the adrenal glands and allow them to slowly release adrenaline into the system throughout the process. 
I'm gonna come on the other side and do the other kidney. Superior, red, black for the kidney, okay? Now, just like with acupuncture, you can visit a dozen different biomagnetic paratherapists and you'll find that they have a dozen, a dozen different ways of doing this type of therapy. So uh, what I'm doing is not necessarily what you're going to receive at another therapist, but it's what I have learned through my experience in doing this. Okay. The lungs. We're going to place a negative here on the right hand side of the body, the right lung, and a positive here on the other lung, on the left side. The bladder. Negative on this side. And positive over here. I'm going to get some more clips from my clips box here. Make sure we get the sigmoid colon. You can find the sigmoid colon by pressing on the hip bone and the navel, and you want to get right between the hip bone and the navel, okay? Now the sigmoid colon is a very important area to put magnets, to place the magnets, because uh, it is a repository for mucus and uh, undigested red meat and a lot of the pathogens that clog our colon and uh, can lead to a lot of disease, a lot of viruses, uh, a lot of pathogens uh, hang out in the large intestine, unfortunately. So we definitely want to pay attention to your sigmoid colon. All right. We're going to do the ascending colon. A kind of rule of thumb is you want the negative touching the body on the right hand side and the positive on the left. Okay, and now I'm going to get two clips here and put them on the traverse colon. How do you feel, Kai? Fine. Good. Very good. Just relax. Okay. Sometimes I'll actually hook up uh, the Mind Alive David um, so that the patient can enjoy some cranial electrotherapy stimulation uh, while they're doing biomagnetic paratherapy. It serves two purposes. It helps the patient to relax and it also... Um, are you okay? You having fun? It helps them to relax, and it's also a good way to if you have a if you have it set for a protocol that takes about thirty to thirty six minutes. Uh, it also works as a timer. Okay. So we're doing good. Okay, we have your detox organs. We have the liver. We have the pancreas. 
We have the ascending, traverse, descending colon, as well as the sigmoid colon. We have the bladder, the lungs, the kidneys in place. And um, that's about it for right now. Sometimes I may take the smaller magnets uh, with medical tape and I'll tape them here to the inside of the elbows or on the wrists. This is because these are high flow areas for blood flow and you want the uh, blood to flow within underneath the magnetic field. What this does is it helps the red blood cells to unstick from each other. Remember in the last video I mentioned how when the body's milieu is acidic, and this means your blood and your fluids and water and everything in your body, your red blood cells tend to stack up like this, okay? Um, like these magnets. And they do this to protect themselves, but this prevents uh, you from having proper blood flow, and it also uh, helps the body to retain um, pH imbalances, either acidity, where the pH is too low, or alkalinity, where the pH is too high. When the blood passes beneath the magnetic field, it uh, polarizes the iron as well as the hydrogen in your blood, and it recharges the red blood cells to the negative uh, polarity charge, magnetic charge that they need to have, so that they're actually repelling each other and not sticking to each other and uh, helps the blood to flow more freely. This also helps your white blood cells to grow to the proper size, which is about three times the size of your red blood cells, so that they can flow through your bloodstream and get rid of all of the pathogens in your body. Once the magnets are in place, we want to leave them in place for about 30 to 35 minutes. Now, this is specific to this part of the world because of our distance from the equator. At the equator, the magnetic field of the Earth is much stronger and therefore the, um, the time for therapy would take less time. It would take less time. If we were doing this therapy in Canada, for example, it would take a longer time because the magnetic field of the Earth is not as strong there. Okay. You having fun? Oh, I'm okay. You okay? Okay. Good job. All right. So, after putting the magnets in place, we also want to come and check the feet again. Okay. Relax. Okay. All right, so uh, we've had a time lapse of about 30 minutes and uh, 30, 35 minutes. The uh, client, the patient is feeling fine and um, during this period of time, they're relaxing. These relationships between the various pathogens, the acidic pockets of acidity versus the pockets of alkalinity uh, are being depolarized and um, the body is re-establishing its natural balance. The red blood cells uh, are being separated from each other 
by passing beneath the magnetic field. Uh, circulation is improving throughout the body. We're allowing the white blood cells to grow to their proper size and flow through the body and do their job. And um, stimulating the function of the kidneys. So I imagine his bladder is probably filling up right now. And we're also stimulating the, pro uh, the, the function of the intestines, the pancreas, the lungs, and all of the various areas of the body. Um, it is very important when you are doing biomagnetic hair therapy to be very well hydrated before and after the therapy. If you don't drink a lot of water, you're going to feel pretty bad, okay? The magnets will dehydrate you. It's even important for me as the clinician, as the practitioner, to be well hydrated when I'm performing biomagnet biomagnetism or biomagnetic pair therapy on the patient. Okay, so after 30 minutes, we're going to remove the magnets. It's pretty straightforward. Right. And immediately provide the patient with some water. Yeah. Right. Good job, man. And that is biomagnetic paratherapy. If you have a specific uh, illness that you want to address, then the pairs are more likely, most likely going to be placed in different areas. Dr. Goez has developed a, a very extensive uh, program which uh, features many, many, many pairs of, ma uh, of biomagnetic pairs that help us to relieve many conditions and diseases. So uh, if you have a specific condition that you would like to alleviate, contact me, let me know. Uh, keep in touch with us at biomedrx.com, B-I-O-M-E-D-R-X.com, or biomedrx, biomagnetism.com, or biomedrxhealthcenter.com. And uh, the telephone number and everything is on the website, so you can give me a call and we can schedule uh, an appointment for you, schedule, schedule a free consultation for you. This is biomagnet, biomagnetic pair therapy in practice.
Even superheroes and supermodels need a daily dose of nutrients to help make life more super. Biomed RX Supplements is making it easy to get exactly what you need. From kids to seniors, they've got something for everyone. Pretty cool, right? Check out their products at biomedrxsupplements.com.